because I was born the Son of God. This time, there'll be a third testament written by you. Practically every television station in the world all recording the same event. I was in school with him, Stephen Baxter. I've known him for years. Do you believe me? No. God's got life and love, and we're the opposite. We've got nothing. We're waiting for you, Judy. Francis Baxter, the apparent father of Stephen Baxter, has a condition which has rendered him infertile since birth. It's on the bloody telly! It's on the telly! The Third Testament. They're coming from everywhere. Letters, videotapes, emails, phone calls. I want you there with me. I'm locked up on my own. I might as well be floating on a cloud. What does that make us, then? Disciples? If you don't get a testament, what happens then? Come with me. Find out. TV, every single channel I can see you now. Right now, it, it's like you're on Big Brother. Move along, come on. It's like worship. People are mad. They've just gone mad. It says on the news no one can get into Manchester. There's a queue on the M6 going back 60 miles. They're calling us the new Mecca. Pete said they're charging double in some of the shops. There's people going to make a fortune out there. Sorry, thank you. I've got to go, Big Brother's calling. That could have been you, Steve said. Could have gone with him. Christ would have made a fortune. Don't. Don't what? Take his name in vain. Standing at the window on the top floor. I think it's him. It's back. And show me your fillings. How divine is that? Fillings. Is this it then? It's bloody freezing. Not exactly paradise. Don't I know who you are? First things first, where's the beers? Uh, I've got a crate in. This uh, it's with old stuff. Come and see it. Hey! 
I'm going worldwide. Look at it, fantastic. What do you think? You can't let me out of the building, so I'm broadcasting from here tomorrow. Who's paying for all this? So you and me, the taxpayer. As right, soon as the third testament arrives, it's beamed out from here. Satellite, analog, digital. The works, it's going everywhere. Not quite everywhere, only to those who'll take it. Everybody will get this broadcast, everybody. Look, I warn you, if you force this broadcast on people, some countries will consider that an invasion. They'll get it, Len, don't worry about it. He starts the revolution, then says, don't worry about it. Right, we've allocated you some rooms if you want to unpack. It's all a bit makeshift. Blame him for that. And you, work to do. Come on. Precisely 11.41. The pub was devastated by an explosion, the source of which has yet to be confirmed. Stephen Baxter was inside, with the people now being called the New Disciples. Judith Roach, Peter Gupta, and Francis Baxter. And yet, as the smoke cleared, all were seen to walk out of the building unharmed. This is now being called Baxter's second miracle. The Disciples were sitting less than two meters away from the point of detonation. Explosion damage the walls, the furniture, the roof. You start over there, and I'll start over there. There's millions of them. I can't do it. You start over there, and I'll start over here. And I'll meet you in the middle, OK? Not a... Not a... Not a... This man says that if you sorted out the one-way system in Oxford, the world would be a much better place, so there. This woman sent a photo. If her husband could see this, way, well, hey. Just keep going, yeah. This is a novel. How am I supposed to read all this? England for the English. Kick out the blacks and the Asians and the refugees. Burn the gays and the Jews. Burn them in a pit and salt the earth. What if they're right? Half of these are death threats. Well, that's a waste of time. He's been blown up and that didn't work. I can die. Steve, mate, we've seen it. I can die. I wouldn't be human if I couldn't die. How do you know? I just... Do you know when or how? Don't know. When it's time, I suppose. The sort of thing nobody should know. Don't know, don't know. Don't ask me, I don't know, don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Ask a simple question and it's, I don't know. I don't know? Yeah, I know, that's all you ever say. Do you want a cup of tea? Well... I don't know. I know more things than you'll ever see. Oh, big boy. Give us a straight answer, then, never mind this stuff. What happens the day after tomorrow? Because the Third Testament doesn't exist. And even if it does exist, it isn't here. And even if it's here, we're not going to find it. And even if we find it, we won't believe it. So what happens then? Do you want to know? Yes. What if it fails? If there's no Third Testament, tell me that. I can. I can find out. Then do it.
nothing. There you go. No, I saw nothing. That's what I saw. There's nothing there. Nothing exists. Darkness. Like the end of the world. Judgment Day. If there's no Third Testament, then it's Judgment Day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Bollocks. Armageddon. I saw it. Death. Stop recording. I'll have the tape. Sir? Are you still worried about safety? We've got maximum security. It's as safe as it can be. Every single person inside has been checked and vetted and checked again. No one without specific clearance can get anywhere near Mr Baxter. And presumably Mr Baxter can't get out? No. No, he can't. Night, night. Sleep tight. It's a raid. Very funny. You want some of this? Keep it, you need it. I've got you some more. I was gonna get you a t-shirt. Selling them outside. Frank shooting blanks. That's what it says. T-shirts. Kids wearing them. Kids. It's like public humiliation, don't know you can take it. I've had worse. I've had a wife go mad ten years into the marriage. I got stuck with Steve while she went off on the wanderings. How's she mad then? Got religion. <laughs> so you bring Steve up all on your own and he's not even his son? Take him to Blackpool. Wipe his arse and tell him off. Find him a job and pay his rent. Not your son. You were just a babysitter. If my child did that to me. <laughs> She's only six, my daughter. A beautiful little thing. Oh, Frank, you should see her. The way she looks at you sometimes. Beautiful. And we're still taking calls from... Hello? We're going back to the newsroom for a news flash. This is coming live from London. If there's no Third Testament, then it's Judgment Day. They've taped us. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Armageddon. Death. Armageddon. It's on every channel. Death. Armageddon. Death. Jackson, outside! Harvey, outside! Harris, finish right there. Get out there! Right, all's on the phone, sir. Oh, oh, oh. I really don't know.
To repeat, Stephen Baxter has declared Judgment Day. We're going to central London now. This is being broadcast live from Oxford Street. Just 20 minutes after the release of Baxter's Judgment Day tape, the Metropolitan Police... The city centres have been declared no-go areas. That's London, Manchester, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Carlisle, Birmingham... And it's a message that's being repeated across the world. Already there have been riots centred around the British embassies in Tehran, Cairo, New Delhi, Buenos Aires, even Wellington, New Zealand. Sartre law has been imposed in the camp. not a warmonger. Police are asking people to stay at home, to stay calm. And certainly, Already there are reports of congestion. There is a report of a riot taking place on the M25 itself. A statement from the Home Office declares that Baxter is expressing an opinion and as we settle down to the first night of what could be a demonstration outside Downing Street is demanding Baxter's address could provoke a further demonstration outside the house of stay calm. That's the message for tonight. Stay calm. This is your fault. Get out there and stop them. I can't. Why not? Unless you don't believe in me, then you want me to be God. Right here, right in front of you. Well, help anyone. What sort of God is that? Well, one thing, then you want something else, then you want something else. I can't do it all! They don't play God! I'm trying to make the best of this, and all I get is you like that, like that, like that! So what are you going to do to me, then? Shut me up like that, that, that! Go and shut me up! Do that! And what if I do? I want it! What's it like out there? It's turning into a full-scale riot. Oh, he's safe. Can I get inside? They're not the danger. He is. Him upstairs. They've seen him, Frank. He's going insane. Someone's got to do something. Someone's going to stop this. A long night ahead of us. Better take the law. This emergency broadcast again we repeat that essential advice from Downing Street stay calm I was friends with Trisha Blake he stole this stuff shoplifting you know, kids Snoopy notepads Snoopy and Charlie Brown I'll be off then can't you think anything wrong it's in the Bible I'm gonna be judged I was 13 you can get us on this number just give us a couple of days we we'll sort out the house and the kids and that I'm going going where I'm just going, all right. Don't be silly. That's Caroline's number. You know, Caroline from work, that Caroline. But it's tomorrow, Judgment Day. I'm walking out on you, and all you can do is talk bullshit! Nothing's gonna happen, Fiona. Nothing. But, just in case it does, I want to be in the right place. But you can't, cos we've got to be together, because that's what it's all about! Family! and things. Tell him, go on! Your dad's just being silly. Tell him he can't. <laughs> See you soon, kids. I'll send you down round. Thing and you, you haven't been listening. 
I am not having a go, really, I'm not. But I love you, and that's the most important thing. Jesus said so. I love you, and you love me. You might not know it, but you do. We can go and find Stephen. He'll tell you. He knows everything. I forgive you, Dave. I forgive you. That makes it all right, because I forgive you. You've got to love me. You've got to love me, because if you don't love me, it doesn't say. Say what happens? What happens if I'm not loved? I love you, Dave. I love you. I forgive you. What happens to me? What happens to me? <laughs> yeah. I didn't ask for all this. Why me? It's not like I had a choice. I was born like this. Nice try, but if you're the Almighty, then it's all your idea. Just not. I'm stuck with this. Stephen Baxter's head is stupid, fake head! And I can't. What's the point? What's it for? I try to work out what's happening. And... It's like there's 50 million megabytes of information. I'm downloading it into a pocket calculator. I'm just stupid. Yeah. D you, you can't make sense of this. No one can. You, uh, you, you're stuck in your own system trying to impose good and evil on the world, right and wrong, and I, it's so much more complicated than that. What do you think I should do? <laughs> what? You're asking me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like in school. You spent two years fancying Kathy Jones and sat next to me instead. What should I do, Jude? Yeah. I never liked her that much. I only went on about her so as I could... Like, you know, sort of... So you could what? You know... Spend time with you. I worked that out years ago. Finally, you've got something to say, and it's too late. Is it? I like the old Steve, the daft sod wasting his life in a video shop. I liked him. You never said. I did in the end. But then we got interrupted. So... do anything in front of you like him. If I was gonna punch you or... kiss you. If it's preordained, it just makes everything false. That's if you believe in me.
want. About the lights. Do you want them on or off? What do you like? Stop thinking about it. Judgment Day. Is it the raising of the dead? The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse? Whatever shape it takes, only the Third Testament can prevent it happening. But from Stephen Baxter, there's only silence. And now back to the studio. A statement released this morning by the Emergency Coalition of Churches has finally decreed that Stephen Baxter is to be welcomed as the representative of the Lord our God. It's the first positive action since the state of emergency was declared. But the question remains, is it too little too late? Or is today the mythical end of days? Do you love me? Yeah. Are you the son of God? Yeah. Bloody hell. Judgment day. He slept with a woman. That makes him more human. And more vulnerable. Sir. Morning, Len. Judgment day. Seems like bollocks once the sun's up. And it's the calm before the storm. Tomorrow night, he said. That's the night now. We've got ten hours till the sun sets, and the clock's still ticking. Yeah, but he's a knob. Excuse me, sir, a bit of a problem. Oh, Louis, do us a favour. Will you get us something to eat? It's sort of important. I think you needed, sir. Oh. Sarah, I'm exhausted. Can I knock off? Yeah, sure. Just give it to Excuse me, sir. We're just changing shifts, and Reynolds was checking the armory. There's a gun missing, sir. Nine millimeter sidearm. Well, given the crisis last night, I doubt every weapon was signed out properly. It'll turn up, Leonard. Well, just in case, sir, we should stop any movement between floors. And besides, our guest upstairs has proved himself invulnerable, apparently.
Frankie. They had gas and everything. And the ambulance got stuck. It couldn't get down Deansgate. you kidding. And there was this mob trashing the place. You should have seen it. Everyone's panicking and running around. It was just mad. Early for that, Frank. Frank, it's a bit loud. Will you turn it down? That's a joke, yeah. <laughs> Frank, Frank, shooting blanks. Frank, Frank, shooting blanks. Frank, Frank, shooting blanks. Not anymore. Not anymore. Hey, hey, come off it, mate. Come off it. Come on, thank you, boy. Don't be that. Don't hey, be that. Hey, get out of the way. Get out of the way. It's OK. Stay. Hey, 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 Bring him back. Bring him back. This way. to go home. Yeah, it's not safe here. Louise, can we get a car, please? Yeah, hang on, I'll get Simon. Why didn't you save him? Why not? He saved yourself. You were that close, the bullets went straight through him. I was scared. My dad. Peace. He's gone to a better place. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Stephen? Where are you going? Home. Simon can take you. I'm so sorry. Down. 
You can forget the testaments. The broadcast is cancelled. Given the state of emergency, I can't allow you to be seen or heard. You're under house arrest. No speeches, no statements, no declarations. It's eight hours till sunset. And whatever happens tonight, happens without you. Sir. I forgive you. Take long. Well, well, well. Now oh, there's a thing. <laughs> My old companion. How are you doing, Simon? Not so bad, Johnny. Been busy. Same old stuff. Are you uh, coming in then? Cup of tea. Pretty girl on my doorstep. I don't get that often. Okay. So you, <laughs> you're all over the telly. I keep telling my mates at work I've dated a celebrity. <laughs> I don't really like that in the house. Don't you? So what do you want, Johnny? I don't want anything. You're the one that turned up. You been out lately? Any more dates? One or two, yeah. Went out uh, two days back. What was she like? Smart. Professional lady, yeah. Seen her again? Might do. She said no. Did you go out for a meal? Did you get all nervous and stuff your face? Did you? All three courses. She's eating salad. You're wolfing it down. She walks away, not even a kiss, so you have a Chinese on the way home. Did you? one of the lot. So what do you want? At last, you believe. How did he convince you? Did he shag some sense into you? I made my own mind up. Such a big, wide world, isn't it? Miracles and devils, heaven and hell. Don't you feel small? Did you? It was you, wasn't it? You made Frank do it. Uh, he hated Steve already. All we did was push. That's what we do. All those bastard little thoughts right at the back of your mind, that's us. We're very human. It didn't work, though. Steve's still alive. You don't want him dead. You tried to kill him. He's lost his best friend. His stepfather's insane, and now you've left him. That's all we need. Because we want him to join us. Before the final hour, he'll become one of us. He'll despair and then he'll fall. He's a man. Man always falls in the end. Look at him now. Wretched and angry and lonely and vain. When judgment day comes, the Lord our God in heaven will find Stephen Baxter the man and judge him a sinner. <laughs> The Son of God will be sent to reign over hell. He's almost with us now. Just one more push, thanks to you. What have I done? Lust. It's more than that. It's better than that. Mm. Does he love you? Sweet. Do you love him? Yes. And that's when the devil gets in. He won't fall. He's stronger than you. 
He'll do anything to be with you now. Everything we did was pushing you towards him, showing you proof, making you believe. Because the moment you believe, you despair. And once you despair, you're mine. When you join me, Stephen Baxter will follow. You've got a bit of a problem then, because I'm not joining you. Peter's gone. Frank's lost. You're next. I've seen everything you've done and I still haven't fallen. Oh, there's more to come. One more lost soul to push you over the edge. Who? You've forgotten all about her. The one you left behind. The housewife. Fiona. Drive me, Cholter, now! What the lady says, Simon? She's in charge. <laughs> Happy Judgment Day! Oh, Judgment Night, I suppose. <laughs> Never mind, eh, Judith? See ya! Good luck! the rush. Jane, turn that off. We're going to say a little prayer, all of us together. What for? We're going to heaven. I'm taking you to heaven, sweetheart. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Fiona! Come on, answer the door. I'm starving. Fiona, come on, I know you're in there. Fiona! Fiona! Do you know where he's gone? Did he say? We've uh, we've got the kids. They'll be all right. We'll take them to your mum's. Is that all right? I'll be.
we'll try and find her a bed, if there's any staff on duty. They were all going home before tonight. Her own children. Okay. Despair. That's the word, yeah. Mm. And she's not the only one. It's happening all over. People trying to escape judgment by getting into paradise first. Still, only a few hours to go, according to your friend Baxter. <laughs> I'm rather looking forward to it, if truth be told. We've invited a few friends round. Bit of a barbecue. You don't believe it, then? Well, I keep saying no. I mean, if you look at it logically, there's not much sense behind what he's saying. It's all a bit cryptic. Maybe next time they should try Daughter of God. Then we'll get a straight answer. That's what it needs. I mean, first there's this testament thing. What happened to that? Then he says Judgment Day. I mean, which is it? Is it one or the other? Or both? How can both these things happen? There's your keys back. If you could just sign for them. Sorry about your windows. That one last night. You got off lucky. If you need anything, just shout. Good luck for tonight. Hi. Uh, I, th I thought I, um, I just thought, uh, can you get out of there? I can do anything. Where are you? Home. If it's happening tonight, then uh, I want to be with you. Yeah. Jude, I'm sorry I didn't... Steve, I know what the Third Testament is. Just come round. Sir, where have you come from? Upstairs. I just popped in to see Steve. We haven't let anyone in. Yeah, you have. I went in ten minutes ago. Oh, that's right. Sorry, of course you did. So, sorry, who are you? Did you sign yourself in? You said I didn't have to. That's right, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Thanks, then. How is he, Steve? Just sitting there. What's it like outside? It's so quiet. It's weird. It's like everyone's gone home or run away or just waiting. Yeah. Good luck then. It's 
you doing? Just sitting there, sir. You're not allowed in, sorry. She's expecting me. I'm on the list. My friend. We were at school together way back. That's right, so you are, sorry. She's inside, yeah. You were in school with Stephen Baxter then. What was he like? Bit of a twat. <coughs> Last man on duty. You better get home. I'll stay. Just in case. Someone's got to protect her. Good man. Have you been? Oh, you know, it's nice to see you. Like the windows. Yeah, I might keep them like oh. that. <laughs> You've dressed up. You haven't. <laughs> it's 
smells good. Yeah. Should be ready. You cooking? Must be the end of the world or something. It's only pasta. You were right, though. Always am. You said I was enjoying it. I've been doing that stuff. Power mad. <laughs> I keep trying to work out what's going to happen tonight, but it's like, I don't know, I'm... Like I'm not meant to see. I don't know what time or what it is. There you go. Am I supposed to eat mine? Didn't have much in, it's just uh, tomatoes, bit of mixed spice, bit of pepper and uh, rat poison. <laughs> Do you remember that time I had rats? My dad gave me that box of poison. I didn't know how much to put in. I put lots. It's um, arsenic or strychnine or, I don't know, it says on the box. It was Fiona's idea, except she got the wrong target. How did they get here? Who was it? Johnny Tyler, what did he say? This isn't the devil's work, Steve. It's just me. You've got to eat this and you've got to die. I, I can't be killed. You can die when you're meant to die, and that's now, cos I worked it out. Do you want a beer? Yeah. Uh, I, ke I kept thinking, how can there be a third testament and a judgment day? But it's obvious. They're both the same thing. Do you want a glass? No. I'm writing a testament, and that's a judgment on you. Cos my testament says that you die, that you go, that you stop. I thought about you and our slot and school and all that, Pete, Fiona, your dad. The existence of God has destroyed us, so it stops, because I say so. They have possessed you. You're doing exactly what they want. They want you alive. This is your only way out. Oh, yeah, right. So what? I bugger off and abandon the world to the devils. It's the death of them as well. Not those lost souls, but the thing inside them. All God's work. And when you die, you're not ascending to paradise, you're dying properly and forever, taking the whole thing with you. God and heaven and hell, all dead. The end of this world and the start of a new one without religion on our backs. And what sort of world would that be? Better. Cos right now we're promised an afterlife, so we waste the 70 years we've got. If God is dead, though, and this is all we've got, maybe we'll use it, maybe we'll become better than you. Or worse. Did you think of that? Well, maybe, but that's up to us, not you. It's daft, cos this is what I always thought long before you came along. Soon as we get rid of God, that's when we grow up. And then you said it, too. It was in your big speech. It was there all along. You said, we've got to take responsibility, and if you really want us to do that, then we've got to do it on our own. I'm always thinking you're so clever. There's millions don't agree with you, millions who need me, but, oh, no, sod them, you know better. No, it's not like I want to... What are you going to do, force it down my throat? Well, you know I'm right. The world's about to end and you're wasting my time with this bollocks. This is your plan. It's all yours. You saw death tonight and it's your death. You said there'd be a third testament and this is it. Use your power one last time and look, cos this, this is right. I'm right. The Third Testament. The family business closes down. No more heaven, no more hell. And you're all alone. Well, then.
Don't want to. Don't say that. I want to stay. I know. With you. We never stood a chance, did we? I should have asked you out years ago. It was my fault. Well, I could have asked you. Why didn't you? You never answered the question. What were you waiting for? I was, uh, hoping for better. Oh, shit. I could stay. I can do what I want. Because you need me. You lot need me. I could bring Pete back. I could raise him from the dead just like that. Don't. Power mad. That's the time to go. It was all on tape. The police had the house keys, wired the place up, recorded everything. Steve made his broadcast in the end and it was transmitted worldwide. They keep on playing it now, all these years later. Everyone saw it and everyone heard it. That was the testament and that was judgment day. The death of God. Even without the tape, everyone felt it. I mean, like everyone. In that second, all of his creations felt his death. Right at the end, everyone believed. Everyone. And everyone knew he was gone. I felt it. Right here, 20 past seven. It's like they say about September the 11th. Where were you when Stephen Baxter died? He was meant to die. You see? I was right, wasn't I? I tried to kill him. No bastard thanks me. And people were terrified in the first few days after his death because it looked like he'd died and gone and left us with nothing. But he left us with everything. And, yeah, sometimes it looks like nothing because we can't turn to a book anymore or a church or some man in a dog collar. We've got to look at each other. Judith. 
don't know, haven't seen her. No, I, um, I moved away. I'm here now, down south. That's where Dave is, and um, he got custody of the kids, so I moved nearby. So... I don't know what I'd say to her. And the devils have gone. People are still mad. They still do the most terrible things just because they're people, not... That's our problem now. OK, um... Do you mind? I'm, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm sorry. That's it. That's all I've got to say. She just wants to be left alone. I think she's still in Manchester, I don't know. I hope she's all right. Charity. Charity. Blimey. Hello. Remember me? <laughs> yeah. We went out on that date. God, must be six years ago now. You were famous back then. You came around my house. Do you remember why? I don't know. Funny old time. Not just because of Stephen Baxter and that. I was having a bad year. <laughs> Went a bit balmy. How's things now? Still dating. Yeah, still trying. <laughs> Lost weight? Well, yeah, a little bit, maybe. It's funny, I kept blaming on the fish and chip shop, you know, work and stuff. In the end, I thought, well, it's down to me. I suppose there's a bit of Stephen Baxter in that. Sorry. I know you and him were. No, it's all right. Anyway, good luck with it. Yeah. I don't suppose you fancy come for dinner. Well, well okay. she spilled juice all down herself. Oh, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Um, this is Johnny. He's an old friend of mine. Oh, man, nice to meet you. There you go. Cheers. Huh. Bollocks. Married. Yeah. She's mine over there. She was two last week. She's a little monster. What does he do, then? He was a policeman. He's resigned now. He was on duty outside my house. The world was ending and he never left. He was a good man. Staffed, didn't it? I used to think months after, years after, I'm still waiting for Stephen Baxter to come back. You know, like, resurrection, one last miracle. I thought that. I spent a long time hoping for that, yeah. But that's exactly the thing I got rid of. Do you think I was right? Any road. Look at us chatting away. <laughs> Things to do. <laughs> Lee Chuck shit, give us a call. Give up. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It's nice to see you. And you. <laughs> <laughs>